Hello queens, hello phenomenal women, hello inspirational women. This is your girl Sibo Tunde. Welcome to Totally Inspired, the channel where we talk all things leadership and all things lifestyle. Before we get started, please hit the notification bell and the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on this content which has been created with you in mind so you can enjoy a full life because girl, you deserve it. I recently turned a certain age. Don't mind the gray hairs. This has got nothing to do with my age. At the age of 17, I think my first gray hair grew somewhere here at the front. And as they always say, the rest is history. So I'm done hiding this hair uh, under weaves and wigs. I'm now just gonna show off this crown. I kind of like it. Though, you know, earlier years, I was not so confident. Which actually brings me to my topic for today. Having attained the age that I've attained, it got me thinking about what would I have told my younger self, knowing what I know now. Well, this is a note to my younger self. So, one of the things that I thought of, which I would have told my younger self, had I known the things that I know now, point number one would be stand for something. When you stand for something, you can never be shaken, you can never be derailed, you can never be made to lose, lose focus. If you believe in something and you've got certain values that you'll never compromise, no one will trick you to a point where you find yourself in places or in situations that you regret. So for me, that is what I would have told myself. And one of the things I would have possibly done, I grew up in a Christian family and I went to a Christian school, but the level of spiritual growth that I have reached now compared to what I was then, I really wish I could have been more spiritually inclined uh, back then. So if you're a young woman and you have a certain belief, a certain value that you have, hold on to it. You'll thank me later because people that have values go very far in life. Secondly, um, what I would have told my younger self is that not everybody needs to love you. You'll never find that as a human being, everybody loves you. And as young people, I think sometimes there's pressure to feel that everybody must accept you and love you. I have learned in my older years now that there will always be people that are committed to misunderstanding you. No matter how hard you try, no matter how genuine you are in your relations and your approach to them, there are people who will just be committed to misunderstanding you. And that's okay. Make sure that you keep those people far away from you as possible. Love them, but love them from a distance. And don't be disrespectful, don't be vengeful, don't be bitter. Don't hate them. That is the nature of life. Not everybody is going to love you and that's okay. And then point number three, one of the things that I would have told my younger self is that you are enough. There will be people that will try and make you believe there is something that you like. God made you the way you are and you are complete. Don't look for validation from places where you don't need to be looking for validation. You are enough. Just continue to work on yourself. Go on a self-improvement exercise, a self-reinvention journey on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't surround yourself with people who undervalue you, people who disrespect you, people who will show you that you are not important. Don't invest your time in those people. There are people that you can surround yourself with, people that will be your cheerleaders, people that will encourage you, people that will correct you with love. And then point number four, parents are wise people. Parents are very wise people. If you are a young person and you are in the fortunate position of having both your parents alive, make sure, just make sure you listen to every word that comes out of their mouth. There is no way a parent could ever wish the worst on their child. A parent always has the best interests of their child at heart. And the wisdom that these people called parents carry is phenomenal. 
even at my age right now, I still look back. I still think back at some of the things that my parents often said to me. And I kid you not, all the things that they were telling me, I have seen them happen. Parents are very wise people. And finally, I want to say, what I would have told my younger self is, girl, you are worthy. Do not be undermined by anybody. You are worthy to dream big. Quit playing small because there is so much that you can achieve in this world. You do not need the validation of another person to be able to live your best life. Find yourself a career, get an education, fly high, do not procrastinate. When a vision comes to you today, act on it today because it is not by mistake that certain ideas are placed in your mind. And I hope if you've been listening, you were inspired. And by the way, this does not mean that if you are older, you stop dreaming. This is the time. The time is now. If there's something that you'd like to change in your life, start now and you will succeed. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, keep well. So there you have it, queens. Hope you had been inspired by today's video and that you'll go out and be more and do more because you deserve a full life. Before you go, remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of this inspiring content and do share my link with your circle of queens. Until next time, keep inspiring.